Welcome back to the family, y'all. This is your girl, Pretty Brown Wine. And today I have another video for y'all. Today we're going to be doing my um, very small collection of my uh, designer body sprays. And I don't have a lot. I don't have many, but I'm going to show you what I do have. Sometimes the the body sprays, especially the, the designer body sprays, they get kind of lost in the mix. So I'm just going to bring some of them back to y'all. Some of them that y'all probably forgot about. Um, so not going to be a long video. I'm going to try to make this one very short. But before I get into the video, I want to say welcome back to all of my old subscribers and also welcome to everyone that has just subscribed to the channel. Make sure that y'all go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Also, don't forget about the 500 uh, giveaway. Once we hit 500 subscribers on this channel, I will be doing a perfume giveaway to two of my subscribers. So make sure that you subscribe to enter. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Um... The first fragrance, I guess I'm good because I have two honorable mentions. So the first one that I'm going to get into is the Coconut Fantasy. And I hope y'all can see that. Coconut Fantasy. This one, I think I got this one from the Dollar General. And it's just a really easy go coconut body spray i think i got this one from probably dollar general y'all one thing about me i'll if i like a fragrance i don't care where i'm at i'm gonna go ahead and pick it up so this one i just felt like i could wear it to bed i could wear it to um fresh out the shower it's just an easy fragrance i don't pull for this one very often but it does smell just like coconut it's a coconut fragrance Yeah, it's just a pretty, pretty coconut fragrance. If y'all hear y'all nephew barking, he's in the background. So, yeah, y'all hear your nephew. He'll probably be making a, um, his his entrance here soon. But um, if you, And if y'all know who the nephew is, if y'all subscribed and y'all a part of the family, y'all know who the nephew is. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's just a really easy grab, easy go coconut fragrance. Um, it's just coconut. So this is just one of my honorable mentions right there. The next honorable mention I have, this one I got from Target. And this one is the um, Mix Bar. This one is Mix Bar. I don't know if y'all can see that. And this one is, uh, let's see. Let me put my glasses on. Y'all know, if y'all not new, y'all know I gotta have my specs on. So this one is called Cloud Musk, and this is a hair and body mist from um, the Mix Bar collection. This one is, really? Okay, this one is, let me spray it. This one is good, y'all. Yeah, this one is good. This one is like musk um it's it's just pretty it's an easy fragrance this could be like an easy work fragrance a easy uh running errands a easy uh just jumping out the shower um it's just a really pretty fragrance it has a you you smell the musk in it but you also get some kind of um you also get some kind of like a um you get like a deep like a amber in the bottom of it it's just really really pretty y'all this one is really nice if y'all have smell cloud musk then y'all know this one is good i don't know if they still sell this one at target or not but I picked this up a while ago and I've had it in my collection for a good little while. I had another one um, also and I used it and I went and got another bottle and this one is good. This one is Cloud Musk um, by uh, Target and this is by Mix Bar, I'm sorry. So the next one is uh, the next one I have is a Vince Camuto body spray, and it looks like that. 
This one is good, y'all. I like this. This is like my third bottle of this one. Um, This one... Oh, this is the original Vince Camuto also, y'all. I don't even have to spray it. I can smell it through the nozzle. Um, This one is like a musky... It's deep. It's just, it's a nice fragrance. Um, It's kind of hard to explain. I'd have to look notes on it and tell y'all what the notes are. This one is a really um deep... Uh, uh, there's something in it I can't call what's in here. There's something in it, though, that... Listen, okay, so the best way I can describe this, Kamudo, is at first spray, if you're not really into fragrances, <clears throat> you're going to say, that, that smells like an old lady, straight up. But once it dries down and you get the dry down on this one, this one is um, deep more of like a fall fragrance. But honestly, with this one, you can wear Vince Camuto anytime. In my opinion, you can wear it anytime. And the dry down is so pretty because you, it kind of smells like when it starts drying down, y'all, it kind of smells like soap, like fresh. You just got out the shower or you just took a shower with like a scented, maybe a scented soap. It's got that soapy feeling to it. And I think that's why I like this one so much. Um, but this one is just a nice one. If y'all can get y'all hands on Vince Camuto, I think I got this one from Burlington. Y'all go and give it a, a sniff if you haven't tried it. This one. So that's Vince Camuto, the original. So the next one I have, uh, is the, um, Nude by Rihanna right there. And it looks like that. This one is real light. This one is pretty. It's real pretty. It's very light. It's it's airy. It um let me spray it on the other arm. This one is nice, y'all. But the new by Rihanna is really pretty. If y'all can get y'all hands on it, give it a sniff. It's really pretty. It's light. It's not too heavy. Very summer friendly. If you want to have like more of a heavier body spray on and you don't want to have anything too heavy on, Rihanna Nude. That's a, This is a perfect one for the summer. So the next one is the Rihanna Rebel Fleur right here. And this is the black one. Rihanna Rebel Floor, to me, oh, God. Oh, this smells so good. This one is definitely more of a fall-winter fragrance for me. Um, this one gives a heavier, um, a heavier note. This one smells like it may have a tuberose in it. I'm not sure, but it may have a little bit of tuberose in it. This one is nice, y'all. This one is really nice. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pulling this one out again for the fall and winter. This one is really nice. This one is not so much like made for like an office or anything because it is on the heavier side for a body spray. It does last fairly long on the skin. But Rihanna Rebel Floor, if you have not smelled it or if you've had it, let me know down in the comment section if you like this one. I think this one is really nice, though. Really, really nice one. Really nice. And, y'all, most of these body sprays, like this one <clears throat> and the... Um, I lost the top. I don't know where the top is. Um, most of the ones like this and the um, Rihanna Nude... I get these from Burlington. I, I usually get these from Burlington. So the next one I have is Air Apostle Blushing. And it looks like that. This one right here. 
this one is a nice summer scent as well i usually uh mix this one this one is like a floral but it has the musk in the background, but it's more of like a floral scent. Very pretty. I like to mix this one with my, um, I can't remember. I usually mix this one with my, um, a perfume I have. It's my Yara. I usually mix this one with my Yara because this one goes well with, um, Yara. And if y'all want to see a mixing video of how I mix my fragrances or what I mix them different like body sprays <clears throat> with perfumes, let me know down in the comments and I'll do a video on what um, are some of the perfumes that I mix my uh, or body sprays that I mix my perfumes with y'all. But this one is really pretty. It's definitely a summer fragrance. I wouldn't really try to wear this one in the um, fall i mean if you want to you could but i got this one from walmart <clears throat> i know i got this one from walmart they have this line the air line you'll mostly find them at walmart i checked walmart um maybe a few weeks ago and they had some new ones but i didn't really care for them i had another one like this which was in a green bottle i can't i think it was a magnolia yes it was the magnolia and the magnolia smells amazing amazing so yeah and but now this one and y'all can see i do use it i use it and i've had this one for a while but yeah this one is another one of my favorite ones from air apostle and again this one is called blushing All right, moving on. Um, the next one is um, Pink Sugar by Pink Sugar. Right here. All right, this one, y'all know what Pink Sugar smells like. It's just Pink Sugar in the body spray mist. It smells just like uh, Pink Sugar, except it's in the body spray mist. <clears throat> but, excuse me, y'all. But um, I had the... Um, perfume in this one and I ended up giving it away I think I feel like I'm coming out with a call y'all say I have to excuse me but um I had the perfume in this one and I ended up giving it away because the perfume to me was just it was way too way too strong once it settled down it was okay but I didn't the it was the it just smelled like burnt sugar on my skin like y'all know you know when people say Pink sugar smells like burnt sugar on your skin. It, you definitely get the burnt sugar. But for some reason, the body spray is a little bit lighter. It's easier for me to wear because the perfume, I just couldn't. It was just too, too sweet. The burnt sugar was just too much. And then when it, when it settled down on my skin, it was giving something. It was giving something like it wasn't rancid. It, it just wasn't. It didn't work well with my skin, not the perfume. So I tried the body spray and the body spray, I can do the body spray because it's a little bit lighter. So if you're not um, into the pink sugar perfume, try the body spray and I think you'll you'll like it. So this is pink sugar. And I got this one from um, Ross. And I also have in my body spray uh, collection um is the jessica simpson fancy love this is not the fancy this is the fancy love fancy love is a really light airy it's really pretty though i don't wear this one as much because <clears throat> fancy is really my favorite one the original fancy but fancy love it has This one right here is, a. I I would consider this one more of like a fall. No, no, not really. No, uh-uh. No, this, you could wear this one anytime. Uh-uh. No, this one is an anytime summer, spring, fall, winter. You can wear this one all year round and you can get away with that one. So this one again is a Jessica Simpson Fancy Love. 
And then the last one I have, which I don't wear and I don't remember, I think I got this one maybe from Dollar General. This one smells good. This one is called Magic Love and it's Magic Love Sexy Night and it's in this pretty purple bottle like that. This one kind of rhyme, reminds me of a uh, my, maybe a Michael Kors fragrance. I know he has one kind of similar to this. I don't know if they were kind of going for that vibe. Um, matter of fact, let me see because I think it says inspired by and I want to say it it's Michael Kors. Yep, it is. This one is inspired by the Michael Kors um, Midnight. I want to say it's... Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Yep, it is. That's what I thought. Yep. This one, this one is inspired by uh, Michael Kors Midnight. And it smells really, really good, y'all. Yep. I thought it was because the bottle kind of reminded me of one of his fragrances. But it smells good. This one I would definitely wear... Um, in the fall, winter uh, months. It's a good bedtime fragrance. If you just want to have something good to spray on, going to bed, you can spray it on, go to bed, have your man all around your neck. That's that's what this one do, uh, is good for. I don't really wear it much, but I think I'm going to start wearing it again because now that I'm revisiting it and it's, it's sat in my closet for a while, I actually kind of like it. Because when I first bought it, I, I didn't really care for it. But yeah, it smells pretty good. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Let me smell it, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to start wearing this one to bed. Yeah, I wouldn't really wear it out. But because it has like a strong alcohol at the alcohol uh, opening to it. But... It's pretty though. It's real pretty to wear to bed if you just want to get out the shower and have something to spray on. It smell good. Yeah, it's real nice. Like I said again, this one is inspired by the Michael Kors Midnight and it's called Magic Love. All right. So I think that is, that's it. That's it. That's all of my um, designer inspired body sprays uh, but that's all the ones that i have it's not many um if y'all like any of these if y'all want to know where y'all can get them at i kind of mentioned where i got a lot of them from either um burlington um ross or dollar general is where y'all can find these body sprays at um or target because i had one from target uh which was the mix bar so try those three spots if y'all want to look for any of these that I have in my collection. I want to thank y'all once again for tuning into the video. Uh, make sure that you subscribe so you can be entered into the giveaway once the giveaway um, comes up here. Once we reach our once we reach our 500. Sorry, I'm a little bit off on this video. I'm kind of a little bit under the weather, and it's kind of just hitting me. But it's been raining here in Texas for the last few days. We cannot get a break from the rain, y'all. But, um, so I'm a little bit, you know, I'm still pushing through, but I'm a little bit under the weather. So I hope that y'all like this video. Make sure that you thumbs up again. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until the next time, mwah, peace.